say it has been a while since we've had a true action adventure story of revenge but we have one now and it's pretty decent cinematic class is about to begin and the professor is in do you remember back when the wwe was filled with the barrett barrage wade barrett was a pretty good character in uh, in the world wrestling entertainment uh, company but you know they really didn't know what to do with him at the time there were so many other superstars they couldn't fit him into a decent they tried tag team in a minute it's kind of like the same thing they're doing with rusev now Rusev has become a fan favorite, but they can't really throw him a belt because they have all these other storylines going on with, with their other superstars, and he's being kind of, you know, put on a back burner and wasted. Same thing happened with Barrett, so he left. He stayed in wrestling for a while, but then decided, you know, this Hollywood gig is pretty good, so he got rid of Wade Barrett, which was his wrestling name, and he goes by his real name now, which is Stu Bennett. Close, but Stu Bennett has the capability of being a dynamite box office action hero if this movie, I Am Vengeance, is any indication. That's today's lesson plan. Let's get to it, shall we? You remember back in the 80s, uh, Sly Stallone, The Arnold, Chuck Norris, and Steven Seagal back in his heyday were making these movies that pretty much followed the same type of template. There was one person, our hero, he was done wrong, some way, shape, or form, and the whole gist of the movie was he was out to seek vengeance for the wrong that was done him. Simple plot, you went to see the action. I Am Vengeance is just like that. Stu Bennett plays John Gold, a special ops operator who has gone, disappeared. Did they go rogue? Was he killed? No one really knows, but... When one of his former teammates is brutally murdered, well, he comes out of the shadows to find those who did the nefarious deed and make sure that they suffer for their consequences. Simple plot. <laughs> it's nice. It's easy. It's good. And the action scenes are great. Unlike Mile 22 where they cut and chop and say you can't see anything. No. Barrett knows how to fight and knows how to roll with a punch and take some throws. I mean, all the years in wrestling gave him that. And his co-stars in this, or their stunt doubles, can hang with him. So you get a nice medium shot, sometimes even a set shot. You could see all the action. You could see what's going on. And that really makes everything worthwhile in this movie. I enjoyed this one an awful lot. It's It harkens back to those 80s action flicks, like I said. And as a result, I had a good time watching this one. It's called I Am Vengeance. I hope that Agent John Gold comes back again. This could be a franchise start for Stu Bennett, and I think he would do well in it. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Now that you have learned what you have learned, here end the three lessons.